Hey guys, this is Nanai at Nanai Guitar and today I'm really excited to share with you a guitar that was sent to me from Journey Instruments which is a collapsible guitar or a travel size guitar. So if you would like to see um, a collapsible guitar in action, then just keep watching. So here is the box that the guitar came in. You can see that it's actually uh, not that big, right? Um, because a normal guitar would be much bigger than this. So um, I haven't opened it yet and I'm really excited to see what's inside. So the model number that they sent me is OC522. It's their classical Cedar Pau Ferro guitar. According to their website, um, this guitar has a solid cedar satin finish. The back and sides are laminate Pau Ferro satin. The case is a custom designed travel guitar backpack engineered to fit an airline carry on compartment. Um, and there's a pickup on there too. A pickup is proprietary underbridge transducer pickup system. And I have no idea what that means, but I'm really excited about that. And it also says patented removable neck system allows this classical travel guitar to collapse into an airline carry on size case for the traveling musician or backpacker. The overhead carries a clear resonant tone with surprising volume and bass. I like that. The relatively small body size is able to carry a full sound through the use of a Manzer wedge which increases the air volume while keeping the top of the guitar close to the body for comfort. That sounds pretty awesome in writing so um, I'm really excited to actually see it in person. I am super ready to open this up. Got my box cutter. It's like Christmas. It's an early Christmas present. <laughs> um, wow. Inside a bag. And this is a piece of wood. It's like a laminate wood. Okay, so they did a great job with the packaging. This is the bag. Um, overhead, it says overhead. Uh, it's pretty nice. Journey Instruments logo. So this, that's how big it is. It's not that big. <laughs> now I'm really excited to open it. Wow. So first, I want to show you this. Here are all the strings. It looks like there are six of them. <laughs> I really like the design of this actually. So it's protecting the guitar from getting scratched by the strings. So I like that a lot. I'm going to remove the Velcro. And it looks like, ooh, that's so pretty. The rosette is really pretty. Um, it looks like the neck is here. So let's open that. Um, how do you open it? What's in here? I think this is the computer part. Oh, so nothing in these pockets. Oh. So here's the little accessories that come with the, the guitar and instructions. Oh, maybe it goes, I see. So here is the hidden zipper to get the neck out. Here it is. Whoa, whoa, whoops. 
so here is the neck of the guitar. Um, it's completely detached, which looks kind of scary, but um, there's a nice little guitar logo there. Um, and uh, you can see here that it has an, an, an additional security for uh, the strings so that it doesn't go all over the place. And here is the body of the guitar. It has a sound port here. The rosette's really pretty. Um, and I have no idea how to put this together. I'm just gonna take this plastic off. I'm about to snap the neck in place, which I'm really scared about, but wish me luck. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Oh my god. Oh gosh. <laughs> I was so scared to do that. It's really tight when you when you're trying to press it in. So just be careful, but I'm sure that's just how it's supposed to be. It's actually not that bad. And there's this little knob that you're supposed to turn until it clicks. I don't hear it clicking. But it stopped turning, so maybe that's how far it goes. I'm not sure. I think it's okay. Obviously, it's out of tune. Let me get a tuner. I use this app a lot. Uh, guitar Tuna. And these strings are Savarez. It says, this instrument is strung with Savarez strings. Obviously, it's gonna take some time for the guitar to adjust, but uh, it's sounding pretty good already. What? I just discovered something crazy, um, which is there's only 17 frets, that meaning that it only goes up to A. So if you have a piece that you want to play with a high B or C, which I never play anyway, um, B yes, but not a C. Um, so you can't play that because it only goes up to A. So I can play this though. <laughs> to get a excuse me one second okay the guitar is pretty heavy it's got a lot of weight um, the neck is insanely heavy so let me try to get into playing position and see how it feels It doesn't feel uncomfortable. Actually, I like how small the body is. It fits really well for me because I'm 4'11, I'm really short. Now it is really in tune. It's been about 15 minutes since I put the guitar together and I've already tuned it three times. So we'll see how 
it keeps it, its tune, but um, I will play you something um, just to show you what it sounds like. I just really am not used to the standard size, so um, I'll have to get used to that. But aside from that, I really like it. Um, it's got a nice mellow sound on the on the high strings. It's very nice. I would have to read the instructions again, but I personally would prefer hard tensions. I never play with hard tensions, but for this guitar, I feel like the the strings are too loose, so I can't really play that fast. I think I would really like it with high tensions. Yeah. So. Yeah, like I, I have to play really close to the bridge. Otherwise, the strings are too wobbly. Overall, I really like this guitar. The only thing I didn't like about it is that there's only 17 frets opposed to the standard 19 or I have 20 frets on my guitar, even though I never use a 20th fret. Um, I'm just kind of used to having it there. So if you play a lot of pieces with the high B in it, then obviously, you know, this guitar is going to be um, not the ideal guitar for you. <laughs> But most of the time, I only go up to the high A anyway, so um, I can't really think of a piece that I play that goes up higher than the A, but I'm sure I've played something. I just can't think of it right now. Definitely can't play the Barrios. Un Sueño en la Floresta has that high C, so um, yeah, definitely not that piece. Playability is good. Um, the action's nice. The action's pretty nice. Um, and the only thing is, it's really wobbly. So maybe if I could, I would change the high tensions. It's really cool. I love the concept of a collapsible guitar. Um, and it it was a little bit scary to put together at first, but. Um, it's not so difficult to put it together. It's a very, very nice guitar. Um, I'll have to try with the pickup though. Actually, have to get an amp first uh, <laughs> because I don't have any amps. I had to tune it maybe four times in the last 20 minutes or so. Surprisingly, it's keeping in tune. I mean, it it's not perfectly in tune yet um but considering the fact that i just put this guitar together 
and uh, normal guitar if you know you restring the guitar then it takes hours hours for the for the strings to settle so um, considering that I think it's pretty good so that concludes my review of this collapsible travel size guitar um, I want to thank Journey Instruments for sending this to me um, otherwise I would never have known about it um, so thank you so much um, this was my first product review video so if you want to see more videos like this one please give this video a thumbs up so that um, I know that you enjoyed it and I'll keep make making more videos like this one I'm also thinking about making a separate video of just me playing the guitar um, and showcasing what it really sounds like and also I can let you know what I think about this guitar as I get to know it more so I hope you really enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one bye and today I'm really excited to share with you um, a guitar <laughs> obviously thank you so much to journey guitar <laughs> journey.